Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to add a sub report to an existing report in Microsoft Access 2016. Now in our previous video, we have already learned how to create sub form and how to create a sub data sheet. A sub report is similar to that only. Now what it says when you are working with a relational database where my related data is stored in different table you often need to view this information from different table or a query in the same report at such instance my sub report comes into picture now before i start off with sub report let me give you an example let's say that i have a orders table and i have a customer table now sub report is a very useful tool because it will help me to display the record from the order information and from the customer information in a more logical and more readable view we'll get a better understanding how to add a sub report to an existing report in our practical approach so let's go ahead and do this task so in order to do that i will move to the navigation pane and pull out a record let's say i want the orders query so now i have the order query report now i want to add a sub report to this so in order to add a sub report i need to change the view of this report so under the view tab i will change this view to the design view the moment I click on design view it is showing me the design view now I am just uh, creating some space to add a sub report out here so uh, as you can see under the details column I am just expanding a bit so that I can create a space for my sub report uh, I'll expand a bit more all right so now I have the sub report now in order to add the sub report I need to go to the design tab and under the design tab I will move to the control groups now if you scroll right to the bottom of the control groups the very uh, option out here is saying sub form or sub report so I'll select this sub form or sub report and I will simply drag this so I'll mention the area where I want this sub report to be seen so I'll select this the moment you leave my click uh, you can see that a sub report wizard will automatically pop up right in front of you so now it is asking me which particular table or query you want to use whether you want to use the existing table or queries or existing report or form I'll say I use the existing report and form all right and I want the December orders report to be mentioned so I'll select the December order I hit next the moment I hit next now it is showing me that uh, let's read out what it says would you like to define which field link your main form to this sub form yourself or choose it from the list below so basically it is telling you that whether you want to choose the relationship between the list that we can see out here or you want to define your own rule so you can select the way you want it if you want to define your own rule you can define it by using this drop down menu or I can choose it from a list now I say I'll choose the very first one that will say that it will uh, show the statement for each record in a order query using the first name all right so basically I am using this I'll say hit next now the last thing it is asking me what you like to name your sub form or sub report so this is my sub report I'll say this is again a December order uh, slash uh, underscore one right and I'll name this as December orders underscore one and I simply hit finish now you can see the December orders has been added to the sub as a sub report now to get a better understanding of this sub report again I have to change the view and I'll change it to this report view all right so again I'll go to this view tab and select report view the moment I click on report view now you can see the sub form is being added now those records which have placed order on December like uh, this Archie has not played, uh, placed any order in the month of December that's why it's showing blank but now Akiwana has placed order in December so you can see the sub report for the same same thing it is for this uh, you can see uh, Albi's record uh, you can see Nathan's record and rest of the details so this is how you can create a sub record in Microsoft Access 2016 